my baby daddy quit his job as an electrician where he was making over six figures a year to work a minimum wage job at a fast food place just so he wouldn't have to pay me three thousand dollars a month in child support and i'm not really surprised i mean she sounds very entitled there's a little bit of arrogance that has came along with that attitude as well is that not ridiculous he would rather take a massive pay cut than to give me money to pay for his kids. Ma'am, you're just going to have to get a job. I'm just so pissed right now because how the fuck am I going to pay for my mortgage? But I do know that it doesn't take 3000 a month to take care of a child or two. I told him when we first got together I was never going to get a job and he was going to have to take care of me and he was okay with that. But now we're divorced and he's saying that he shouldn't be paying my bills he's not here to take care of you anymore you are his ex-wife you are not his current wife and ma'am what if he falls in love again with another woman I took her advice and like, you know what? Let me see what I like from this person. What do I like from that person? And I want to find it all in one, which yeah. we may not ever find it all in one. I like this characteristic of this guy. I like this characteristic of this one and this one and this one. And now I'm going to just not talk to none of them. And let's go find a whole nother guy that has all of their characteristics in one. Ma'am, you sound crazy. And uh, no disrespect to your aunt. She's crazy for even giving you that information. This is foolish information. This is foolish advice. And this is bad advice. And it leads to bad behavior and bad decision making. You need to date as many men as possible so that you can pick out what you like about each person and yeah. find them in that one person. It turns my stomach. Ladies. You really think the man you friend zone wants to be your friend. Now, I'm not the friend zone type of guy. And let's get the definition of friend zone in order. It's the friend zone. I like you, but you don't like me, but I'm still cool enough to hang out with. But you'll never give me a chance. If that's the case, I'm not in anybody's friend zone. Oh, he's cool. He's my friend. He this, he that. You know. The, the guy that you might be sleeping with, he might not help you move, but the guy in your friend zone, he'll help you move. Don't use his muscle. I tell men, hey, if she doesn't like you, move on with your life. I mean, I'm not about to be friends with a person that I like. And now I see you talking to this guy or you're sleeping with this guy or you're sleeping with this guy. And a lot of y'all don't understand the one who could stick in there through your bullshit is the one for you. So I have a question for the men and maybe y'all can help me with this. I really want to know. Do y'all not go out anymore? Ma'am. A lot of us men were at the gym. A lot of us men, we like to congregate at sporting events. A lot of us men, we are self-preserving and we're relaxing at home and we're working on our craft. We don't feel like being around a bunch of distractions. We're, there's men out here to have their own company. And while y'all are out at brunch and when you guys are out and showing off your new heels, he's doing payroll. He's checking on his aging mother and his aging father. He's he's at his niece's soccer game or her gymnastics event. I really want to know, like, do y'all just sit at home and swipe left and swipe right online? Do we just swipe left and swipe right? No, nobody's swiping left and swiping right on a stupid dating app. California is the first state to ban school rules requiring parents get notified of child's pronoun change. A pronoun is a third person by which an individual wishes to be referred to in order to indicate their gender identity. If two parents have a fourth grader named Samuel, Samuel can leave the house with pants on and a shirt you know, clothes that young boys wear, but he can go to school and identify as Samantha. And if you all allow him to identify as a woman or a young girl, do you all have fitting rooms and dressing rooms? Are you going to give little Samuel a skirt too, so that he can really, really feel like Samantha? 
California, this is wrong. Governor Newsom, he passed this statewide law. I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around? Nobody actually knows why you're single. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. I mean, do you want to have a talk with maybe one or two of your exes or previous partners? But I, I wear heels. I dress up. I just feel like I have a very dominant personality. You might think that is dominant. Others might think that you're rude. Others might think that you're mean. I got a big booty. Hey, you know, some people will want to know that, but... I don't have any kids. I got a credit score of 803, exact, recently pulled. Everything starts with accountability. Everything starts with self. I'm probably not as feminine as the average feminine female. Are your expectations too high? I have boundaries, though. Have a great day. Let's look at the definition of polyamorous. So I'm going to draw you a diagram to explain what my life looks like as a solo poly person. Polyamorous is the practice of or desire for romantic relationships with more than one partner at the same time with the informed consent of all partners involved. So I am at the center and I am my primary partner. There are people who I'm exploring, people who I'm dating, my friends with benefits who I'm romantic with and sexual with, my lovers who I'm sexual with, my partners who I'm 10 toes down with, satellites who come in and out of my life and playmates who I play with in the kink and swinging spaces. How do you have that much time for that many people? You have so many demonic soul ties. my husband all the time that if a man approaches me while I'm out by myself and asks me for my phone number I'm gonna give him my phone number and I'm gonna give him my phone number not because I want him not, but because I want to make it back home to my husband and my children safely some men cannot take rejection the young lady has a great point we've all seen it some men simply cannot take rejection and it's sad she flat out might not be attracted to you and everybody's not going to be attracted to you. If she doesn't want your number or if she doesn't want to have any type of interaction with you, let her be. We all have moms. We all have aunts, grandmothers, nieces, you know, daughters, cousins, sisters. And their protection is our priority. A young man walked inside his house and he was furious. I got a bank statement in the mail with an account that I don't know nothing about. First of all, don't come in here yelling at me about no account. I have an account to make sure I'm good. He found out that his wife has been transferring money from his account and their joint account. And we was I have to have something. And if we was to break up today, straight. you would be a okay, my friend. Because you slip and steal the money for I don't know how long. That's going to make me okay. $22,000 not going to make me no. okay. Some people don't make that in a whole okay. year at their job. This is theft. This is burglary. Her money is her money and his money is our money. That ain't nothing but the devil. Ladies. Imagine him transferring 22000 over there and then he looks you in the face and says, hey, I have to make sure that I'm good. What I'm about to say is probably going to sound real controversial, but it is what it is. This woman is saying something that is very important and is very essential. From now on, especially living here in Atlanta, when I go out and I meet men and they approach me or I approach them, I'm going to ask them, are they bi, straight or gay? reveal who you are and the reason why is because i'm just seeing way too many posts where there are bisexual men saying that they don't think that they should have to tell us that they're bisexual off top you're taking her choice away she has every right to decide whether she wants to talk to you or not but you're trying to integrate your private life into my private life she's gonna ask the gentleman 
Which way do they go? Which gender do they prefer? What type of lifestyle do you live if you know where I'm going with that? But just know some of us women don't want to date a man who wants both. This woman needs to be protected. I applaud what she said. So I was married for 10 years. I got married young. I was 21, barely, like three days, 21. Um, already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. You know, that's a red flag right there. You're young and you're getting married and you have an eight week old. And here we are 10 years later going through a divorce. <laughs> There's some great lessons that needs to be learned here. I left the good guy. So you sound like you're not deserving of a good man who's ready to love you. So I'm here to tell you it's okay to leave the good guy. Gentlemen, protect your peace and be careful out here with women like this. She is a walking red flag and I feel sorry for this man. Leave because you have to be happy. This woman is outrageous. Do not waste your time in situationships. A situationship is a term used to describe a romantic or intimate relationship that lacks clear definitions or commitment, typically associated with traditional romantic relationships. It refers to a connection between two people that falls somewhere between a friendship and a committed partnership. There are some people that just want to sleep with you and just use you up. And if you see yourself as a person who finds committed relationships fulfilling, or if you are a person who wants to get married one day, you need to stay away from situationships. They're stupid. What are we? Are we in a committed relationship or not? If it's a not, we're not sleeping together. Why have intercourse? Her question is, how come we're never at brunch? I start coming to these brunches. That's where all the pretty girls be at, literally. With their little colorful outfits. Us men, our version of brunch is going to the gym. You know, we're going to holler at our bros. Like, hey, man, you going to the gym? All right, boom. Cool. Let's go lift, let's go lift weights. All the working class women, nice nurses and stuff. Like, y'all be missing out. Y'all got to start coming to the brunches. Y'all love the gym shoes at night. You know, we're working on our craft. We're on entrepreneurship. We're in the gym. We're content creating. You know, we're working. We're thinking. We're at home relaxing. The The time that you all use to go to brunch, he uses that time to just relax at his home peacefully and self-preserve. You know, a lot of us men are at peace. A lot of y'all be at brunch with 10 people and five of them you don't like. 